school board member and superintendent comment. Uh, start down there with Mr. Shaw. First of all, I'd like to welcome Gerald back. It's been a while without him. Welcome back, Gerald. Good to have you back. Second of all, I'd like to welcome Jason Hemmetaller to the school board. Glad to have him here. Uh, a new member of the school board. Uh, thirdly, congratulate all the graduates of Allegheny High School. Congratulations. Now the fun starts. Not really. Uh, and also, Abby, congratulate her on her on her, all her success. This is her last meeting. Going to miss her. Um, I believe Dr. Heath, is she still here? This is her last meeting. Going to miss you. Uh, and how long does Mr. Truitt, is he, is he still here? Is this his last meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations on your retirement too, out there. Um, congratulations to all the FCCLA uh, on their nationals. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you. Travel safe. I shall do my best. And also Ms. Harris, is she still here? Congratulations. Thank you for everything that you've done, especially through this, the last year and a half we've had. Congratulations. And I think it's everything. Great. Thank you very much. Happy. I would like to start by congratulating the class of 2021 on their recent graduation. In a year that was anything but normal, you persevered and pushed through. I would also like to congratulate the seniors that showed their loyalty to Allegheny Athletics and graduated at the state track meet on Saturday. It was a memorable ceremony and it was a graduation that no one will ever forget. A special thanks to Seth Davis for traveling with us, handing us our diplomas, and for his continued support of Allegheny High School. Lastly, I want to congratulate the boys and girls 4 by 800 relays for their recent region championship title and for their first and third place finish at the state meet, as well as Levi Counts, Cassie Evans, Eric Honecker, Mason Honecker, and Gracie Barron for their awesome performance in their individual races at states. Jeremy Bartley continues to build a strong program and help shape athletes into amazing leaders and people. And I am very hopeful that he will soon have a new facility that he can use to promote the tremendous program that has earned two state championships in the past year. I would now like to take a moment to thank the school board and Allegheny County Public Schools for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime for serving not for one, but two years as the student representative. I have been blessed enough to attend Mountain View Elementary School Clifton Middle School, and Allegheny High School. And I can say that my experience was nothing short of amazing. I have greatly enjoyed my time on the board, and I hope that I left an impact on the students of Allegheny County. The future looks very bright, and I am thankful to have had the chance to serve the community that I love so much. All good things must come to an end, but I am so excited to take everything that I have learned to Bridgewater College in the fall, where I earned a full tuition academic scholarship thanks to the education and skills that I got from Allegheny County. I will be studying biology with the pre-med track, and I will be a part of the swim team. I am sad to leave you all, but I am so excited for the future. Thank you for allowing me to serve as the student representative, and I wish Levi Counts nothing but the best next year as he fills my spot. Thank you again. This might not be your last meeting, right, yeah. right Ms. Morgan? That's right. Uh, Danielle. Yes, we have a lot of a lot of things to celebrate, and I know you all get tired of hearing me say this every single meeting, but I'm going to continue to say how proud I am to be a, a member of the Allegheny Highlands and continue to see the awesome things that our community and our students do. You know, folks think we're a small community, but it's absolutely amazing, and I continue to be astonished about the successes of our students um, academically, athletically, um, through their civic organizations and everything else, they do amazing things. And so I'm so proud to sit here tonight and hear all these awards. So again, congratulations to our indoor and outdoor track recipients. Huge congratulations to the FCCLA um, students. I'm very proud of you all as well. You're going to my favorite city, Nashville. Live it up. It is the best place to visit. So I hope you all have a blast on that trip. Um, again, thanks to Donna Harris. Um, I know the work that you've put in and 
and you haven't always had the most positive communications, whether it be from students or parents or staff or whatever, it's been difficult to answer those questions and, and navigate us through those pandemic waters, but you did so with grace and you always steered our ship in the right direction, so we thank you for that, being the captain of our school's health. Um, congratulations to all of our graduates and I um, want to stop there and thank the staff of the school board office and Allegheny High School and all other staff that worked very hard to give our students a sense of just a little bit of being normal. Graduation felt normal and it, maybe except for Abby <laughs> and the other track members that graduated but that was special too so it was a great day I hear. I've heard nothing but positive feedback. The same goes for prom. I know our staff members worked hard as well as our community and parents parents and our and our students got a taste of normalcy again and that's important we've got to get back to normal so thank you to the parents to the community to everybody who donated to the faculty I think that we forget how much work goes on behind the scenes of events like graduation and prom and you know our staff and parents work really really hard for that and I just wanted to take a minute to um, recognize them to Dr. Heath, we will certainly miss you. You've been a, an absolute delight and joy to work with um, during my time on the board, and I wish you nothing but the best. I'm sure I will see you. Dr. Heath is my neighbor, and she has the cutest pups there are. They try to run over and see me all the time. They know a dog lover when they see one. So I wish you nothing but health and happiness in your retirement. The same for Mr. Truett. I wish him nothing but the best and lots of travel and happiness. Um, <clears throat> Abby. You know, we, we know you think this is your last meeting, but we were recognizing you for tracking, recognizing so many things. We can't let two years go by and not recognize you, so we really hope you come back in July so we can make a special resolution for you and recognize you from the school board at that meeting. We want you to come back for that. So we have not forgot you. We wanted to separate that a little bit, and we would like to invite you to back to be our board physician. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting older on the school board, so we look forward to you going to medical school and taking care of all of our health care needs. Um, so we're so proud of you, so, so very proud of you. I asked her what her parents were going to do the last Martins out of the house, and she said she's leaving the pup, so <laughs> at least you'll have the puppy. <laughs> so thank you for all you've done. You've been an absolute delight, and you have represented us well, and we are so very proud of you, Abby. All of the places you will go. So I believe that is all. I, oh, and to our two that spoke tonight, um, Mr. Umstead, thank you. I, too, support the track, and we need to get it done. There's no excuse. I always say if we keep our students at the center and they're our compass, we will never navigate wrong. So they're why we're here, and we have to keep their needs at the center of our attention. And the same for Mr. Don, and thank you for your comments. And we were so delighted to do that weight room. It's been such a positive. It's one of the best things that we've done since I've been on the school board, and I hear nothing but good things about that weight room so thank you for recognizing that tonight that's all thank you mr littleton i want to thank everyone for coming out tonight it's good to have a full house again this month um, but i also want to congratulate all of the uh, graduating seniors and uh, wish them the very best on their new journey of life i um, <coughs> also want to thank all the staff for this interesting year and be able to make things feel a little bit like normal here at the end. Um, I also would like to uh, congratulate all the fifth, fifth grade uh, DARE students that are going to graduate from DARE class tomorrow and I also want to thank law enforcement for all their help with that program. That's a key program to a, our good community. I uh, want to congratulate the boys and girls track team, uh, another state championship, that's great. Um, I also want to congratulate the FCLA group and uh, wish y'all safe travels to Nashville and hope y'all have a great time. Uh, Donna Harris, I want to thank you very much for all of your hard work with COVID. You've went above and beyond and we really do appreciate that. Um, Gerald, it's great to see you back in person. Thank you, brother. And enjoy seeing you here. Uh, Mr. Hilmataller, good to have you on the board. Welcome you here. And Abby, it's uh, sad to see you go. But uh, I wish you all the best in your new chapter of life and uh, at Bridgewater University and I hope you do great things there. I know you will. And uh, I want to say also thank you to Dr. Heath and to Mr. Truett for all your hard work and I hope you all enjoy retirement and get to do all the things you've been waiting to do and love to do. Thank you very much.
And I forgot to welcome Mr. Hemantaller and welcome Gerald back. It's nice to have a full board tonight. So yes, thank you all both and it feels really good for all of us to be here. Mr. Kern. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> way to go. Glad to have Jason and Gerald here today. Thank you guys for uh, being here. Uh, thanks to all the athletes that earned some really cool awards and represented our school system really well. Uh, thank you for competing. Um, also, congratulations to the retirees that are retiring. I hope you enjoy your retirement. Congrats to the graduates uh, this weekend. I uh, got to attend that and it was really beautiful weather and uh, it was really festive and I was glad that we were able to have a, like it's been uh, opined by my peers, a, a little sense of normalcy. Um, Team Bob, glad you guys both came out to uh, promote some of the things that we're doing with the track and the weight room. Um, I hope tonight we can continue progress on uh, the track and the weight room and, and make some really great things happen. And Miss Martin, you have been a great asset to the, to the school board and you've represented us well. Uh, your last duty is to find a replacement before you leave, so uh, keep that in mind. So we need someone else to fill those big shoes you're leaving. We have one. Oh, do we? Awesome. Great. So uh, with that, thank you guys for all coming today. That's all I have. Great. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Helmetaller, what are you to the Wolves? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, I guess with it being my first meeting, I just want to say I'm super excited about the opportunity to serve on the school board. Um, we did a, an orientation the other day and got to go around and meet everyone here, here in the central office. I mean, Mrs. Alterman, Mrs. Alterman, um, class, former classmates. <laughs> yeah, well, so we uh, met everybody here and kind of learned uh, the, the, the roles that they, that they do and uh, first start there with um, Dr. Heath. I really enjoyed the 15 minutes or so and it, how much you enlightened me with where we are with special education and uh, you've done well and I can tell just by that little time that you, you're really proud of your work and Mr. Truett same I wish you the best in retirement as well um, then it was all, it was really awesome to get back in the schools um, you know through coaching I've been in the high school and the middle school but I got an opportunity to go back to to Sharon where I started kindergarten and first grade um, and then Callahan and get to see Th those schools really reminded me of my time here in this building at Central, so that was that was great. And we uh, we quickly got behind schedule because everybody was so welcoming, and we talked a little longer than the 15 minutes we allotted at most places. So uh, I got to get back out to Callahan, although I did get to see a pretty cool, uh, um, uh, I guess, a dismissal. It was, if you've ever been to an airport, it's they blow those guys, <laughs> those taxi stands out of the water with how, how well they do that. So uh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, as far as today, I want to echo what everybody else has said. Uh, um, I want to wish uh, the FCCLA the best of luck down there as they compete in nationals, but more importantly, just have you know, probably the time of your life and, and enjoy that. You know, job well well done, and it's you know, a huge honor to go compete at a national level. So, hats off to you guys, uh, Coach Bartley. You, your runners, you guys are first class. It's you know, and I know. I know as a co former coach and coach a lot of stuff, that just doesn't snap a finger and it happens. So uh, hats off to all the student athletes that are doing that, um, the coaches and, and parents, because uh, you know you guys are getting them two practices before they can drive. Uh, I see a lot of proud parents out there and you should, you should be proud. So uh, hats off to you guys. Coach Umstead, I'm glad to be here and hear you today. And you know I wanna recognize uh, the, how, I mean, I wouldn't even guess how long you've been part of uh, the coaching and your passion for track and uh, your student athletes come through your voice every time you talk. So I hope to be um, honored to be part of a board that would approve this track um, in, the, in this meeting. So uh, it's, I'm honored to be part of that. So uh, just thanks to everybody. Uh, Mrs. Harris, thank, I, I can't imagine with healthcare, you know, the mortgage industry has been crazy with COVID changing guidelines so I, I wouldn't even try to imagine with healthcare and you navigated that so job well done um, and you deserve every every recognition you get so 
lastly, um, Abby, I didn't have a chance to serve with you, but uh, I've heard nothing but great things from all of my fellow school board members and just anybody that speaks of you. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's amazing to hear them talk and, you know, hats off to everything you've done. I wish you the best of luck. Um, I know your parents are proud of you too, so uh, good luck on your, your future endeavors. And uh, we've got another runner joining, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> Jacob, you'll still be second best runner on the board. So. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I told him he's got to get a different track. Yeah. I'm sick of this time. So thank you. I look forward to it and um, can't wait to be part of this for the next next year or so. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hamiltaller. Gerald, welcome back. <sighs> thank you, Jacob. I, too, want to thank everybody for coming out tonight uh, and it's good to be back I mean, and, I, and I want to thank if you only knew how many cards emails texts phone calls I received uh, after my surgery and I, I want to thank you for those that's that, that meant a lot uh, I want to uh, congratulate our athletes our student athletes our coaches and staff good job and the graduates and and the staff pulled that off. It's like like one of my board members said, you guys put some normalcy to graduate. And that meant a lot to me also. Uh, Ms. Harris? Is it Ms. Harris? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I didn't can't read my own writing. Thank you for a job well done. If it wasn't for, for people like you and our staff, the rest of our staff, this would have been a horrible year for you. All of you stepped up to the plate and did above and beyond. I mean, every one of you, you know, the, all the meetings you had to go to, you know, the changing uh, COVID regulations every day, maybe every other day, maybe twice a day, but, but thank you all for the work you did, okay? And Dr. Heath, Ben, I wish you many, many retired years, good years, where you good health, lots of fun. You deserve to. You've done a lot for the school system. Uh, Bob, and I appreciate the public comments from both of you. I too support a new track. We need it for a long time. And Abby. We're going to miss you. <laughs> One of the hardest things I ever had to do was, uh, I guess, that January, February, we had, we had to vote about COVID, about sports. And Abby sat beside me. <laughs> so I could look her in the eye and say, Abby, I am sorry, but I cannot support bringing I these kids back this early with all this virus. <laughs> That's the hardest thing I ever had to do. Yeah. And she just said, okay. She, she understood it. <laughs> She's a good sport. She's going to be an asset to this community if we can get her back in here. Okay, sir. Oh, let's see if we can get else. I forgot. Nope, I think that's it. But thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I would like to uh, express my congratulations to the 2021 graduates as well. Um, Mallory Nicely, she runs the ship on graduation day. She does a great job. I've watched her pull it off for a couple of days. I mean, a couple of years. Um, Gerald, so glad to have you back and, and back on the mend. Uh, Jason, glad glad to see you uh, stepped into this role on the school board. We know you've always been a great supporter of our students and our athletics, and um, you know I, I think we have a wonderful board now, and uh, and, and I appreciate all of our board members uh, being a part of it. And we think you'll be a great addition. Uh, although we we are losing Abby. Uh, Abby has been great. Um, Abby is not only a star student, but also a star athlete, but a star school board uh, member. She's a she's um, wise beyond her years. And I have asked Abby's opinion on multiple things. Talked to her about things dealing with students, um, dealing with COVID, um, and Abby really. Um, I, I'm I'm very impressed with Abby, and, and I wish her nothing but the best and we hope that you will be able to come back next week next month and we can uh, give you a little bit more formal uh, thanks um, dr. Heath has been here since uh, since 
the beginning of time for me. Uh, so I appreciate everything Dr. Heath has done. Dr. Heath has always been a good friend to the board and very helpful, and uh, we appreciate everything you you uh, contributed over the years to our students, and uh, we certainly appreciate you, uh, Mr. Truitt. Where's he hiding that there? When I first got on the school board, the first uh, my first experience uh, with the school board was uh, these two young ladies' father and I went out to uh, lunch at the Mexican restaurant with Ben Truitt, and he was telling us what what the school board was all about, and we were two fired up people. He was a Falling Springs guy, and I was a Boiling Springs guy, and the schools had just closed, and we were wanted blood and uh, Ben calmed us down a little bit and kind of told us how it all worked and uh, so but um, you know it, it's it's definitely been a, a fun experience and Mr. Truitt we wish you the best as, as you uh, sail on down the road I'm sure there'll be fun trips to South America and all kinds of good stuff like that um, to our FCCLA girls um, Nashville is fantastic we uh hope you all have a great time there. It's not just about winning, but it's a lot about the experience and, and everything that you all will see and do. And being together as kind of a team, that's fantastic. Um, Riley, glad to see you're feeling a little better these days. And um, I know that means a lot. So uh, as far as the track goes, uh, the track, like I said, it, it is a um, project that we have been talking about for a while, like Bob, Bob mentioned. I, I don't know anything about Dr. Grimacy. I wasn't around back in those golden years, but um, I know that this board and, and you know we've had what four new members this this year on this board. But I can also say that the four members that we lost were all in favor of redoing this track. Uh, so that is something we're going to do. But um, you know we have to we have to weigh things out and we have to be fiscally responsible. Uh, and especially during the virus, we didn't know where our funding was coming from or, or what. And, and we didn't want to put the county into a weird situation if they couldn't fund us enough. But it looks like we're uh, in a good place right now, so we look forward to moving on with this track. Uh, there will probably be some inconveniences to some sports teams, but um, I've spoken with the uh, uh, sports subcommittee on the Joint School Services Committee, and everybody is very excited about the idea of having a nice track at Alley Canyon, it'll be the only track in this region that is the right size. <laughs> so, the Clifton Middle School is a little too big, Coving High School is a little too small, but Allegheny is just, just right. <laughs> <laughs> but it has gaps in it, that big and potholes. So, um, but, and, and also with that, we're going to, uh, we're, um, in, in speaking to um, Mr. Donnan's, uh, comments we're going to have a, a designated soccer field uh, at the track so that will be good for our students and I, I know some of you ladies uh, are soccer players uh, and we've had the best soccer season yet for the girls soccer that's super exciting so I can only imagine and my expectations are going to be really high when we have a track and and a soccer field like I had some friends in from out of the area over the weekend and I was telling them about our successes with the track track team on Saturday and and I said and we don't even have a track <laughs> so it's pretty amazing but uh, yes uh, Mr. Umstead I, I think you're right we need to have all of the different things that go along and I'd also like to uh, uh, congratulate Mitchell Tallman from Covington for winning the uh, state pole vaulting championship <clears throat> um, that's an exciting thing um, so this this track team um, it's pretty amazing um, Abby, of course, is, is our shining star on the board. Uh, but the Honaker boys, if we had like a hundred more of them, uh, we would if we would have like forty salutatorians every year, and uh, uh, that would be amazing. But um, you know, everybody has has just been so great. Um, Abby, the Honakers, uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey was here somewhere. I see back there, uh, and Darcy. Um, those guys will be graduating, but we're expecting big things from Gracie and Mason and uh, Levi, our, our next, you know, he's got a big, big shoes to fill over here. And I don't know how many of you know Gabe Miller, but that dude has transformed himself like no one else. And I actually think that next year 
he might run like a sub one minute 800 meters. So uh, he, he has done great things and we're super proud of Gabe. Uh, as far as all you parents, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of you, uh, I've talked to a lot of you. I got kind of mad at the, at the Honaker boys at one point during all this thing and I was like, I gotta stop. I mean, I had to, I, only, I didn't have to block any of them, which was good on social media, you know, but uh, I know Mr. Cash and I have talked quite a few times and, uh, you know, it, we all wanted what was best for the students and we know that how bad you parents wanted everything for your students. Um, and we know that all of you all wanted to be able to compete and you knew this was your year. And, um, we certainly appreciate that. Um, you know, the board was put in kind of an awkward situation at times because we had to um, take so much into account. But you all really showed us that, that when it was time to show up, you guys showed up, and, and we're very proud of you all. Um, I think I'm getting close to the end here. Uh, there's one person in the, in the audience that we missed last month, and uh, I said that, that he had... He had only missed one month. He had only missed one meeting before, and if he missed another one, we'd be tied over the past eight years. And that's Daryl Gleason. Uh, Daryl, we're glad to have you back in the audience. Uh, you're an important part of this community. Uh, getting the news out in a fair and unbiased way is a is a really important thing in our community, and we appreciate you. I'm glad I'm glad you're uh, back at the Virginian Review. Um, with that being said, I hope everyone has an amazing summer. What's left of it. Um, and, and for those of you still competing, we wish you all all the best. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping you all, maybe we can leave those projects up so we can see them after the meeting. That would be great. All right, with that being said, Ms. Halterman. Well, it's a fun time of year because I get to say a lot of thank yous and a lot of congratulations also and join the board in that. Um, we want to welcome Mr. Helmetaller. I'll reiterate his name is Jason and he's also class of 97. Uh, so that's, it was very exciting for me to be able to be with him the other day and help, help orient him back to the school division. Um, and of course we welcome you back, Mr. Branson. It's wonderful to have you here in person. Just wonderful. We graduated around 155 students the other day. And you know, that's, that's, that's our whole purpose. And that's a lot of people's hard work over a lot of years. And we just thank all the people in the community who had a part in that, with their school staff or their parents or their neighbors or board members or anyone else who's cheered along our students. It's really incredible to be a part of graduation. And I haven't shaken that many hands in a really long time. So it was a really great experience to have that moment of normalcy and of congratulations. Um, in addition to that, there's a lot of really great things we've been celebrating. We just did our promotion ceremony for our eighth graders today. Uh, the Jackson River Governor School had a wonderful ceremony the other night uh, with a lot of incredible representation from the Allegheny Highlands. Um, a lot of students from Allegheny doing very well. Um, as well as the Academic Awards at Allegheny High School, which was very recently done as well. Really incredible amount of scholarship funds that are given to our students at, at that event. Um, of course, I join everybody in the room in celebrating our track successes indoor and outdoor, all the adults who've cheered them on in all sorts of different ways, our FCCLA successes. Um, we're so thankful for Miss, Miss Donna uh, Harris. She did a great job this year. Great job. She does a great job every year is my understanding, but this year is a really incredible year for everyone connected to healthcare. And of course, we're very thankful to Abby. We're very glad you've had your time of service. And I'm sorry we didn't get to work together longer. Uh, but I certainly enjoyed getting to know you and seeing all these different successes of yours. It's been my pleasure also. A um, couple things that are just going on in, in the community as we, as we celebrate all of this. Uh, you know, obviously we celebrate two adults in school administration who are, who are going to retirement, right? We celebrate Dr. Heath and we celebrate Mr. Truitt and they both made fine contributions to our school division over the years and we're so pleased they've been a part of our team. We also are so like, glad to have community members back participating in meetings. As you all have said, it's wonderful to have people here and able to make comments. Um, also, uh, one other thing that was going on in the community uh, in the past week or two that I just want to bring up is if you weren't familiar with the Give Local Allegheny Highlands Initiative, uh, please take a moment to, to look that up on, online. Really incredible success there from the Chamber of Commerce and the Allegheny Foundation. And a lot of organizations connected to that events support our students and in various ways and we really appreciate all the hard work that went to that project well 
all of that said, and I hope I didn't leave anything out, there's a, it's a kind of a long list of thank yous tonight. Um, it, one, of, one of the cool things to mention this time of the year, for any of us who've ever been involved in school, the school year is always an adventure. And every year we always look at each other and say, wow, can you believe this year? And, and this year I think we can say that with a whole new appreciation for all the different things that can happen in a school year. This whole year has been a team sport um, and we're finishing strong, no matter what, what that means for different students. Um, simply reaching the end of the school year as a milestone is so important for our students and staff. And we just, we just can't thank everybody enough who supported us through that. It's been a bit of a heavy lift, but it's been good work and it's time for summer and that's a pretty incredible feeling. So we appreciate everybody for all, for cheering us along all that time. Absolutely. And, and I did realize that I, I left out Ms. Harris. I had her here on my list and I somehow skipped over that. We appreciate everything that you have done. Um, I don't think people realize how intense all these meetings and things were that uh, that we went through. Um, I, I snuck out of town uh, in October, the end of October. Uh, that's when we weren't letting anyone we, we weren't letting anyone know anybody was leaving anywhere, or going anywhere. Um, I wasn't around anybody. Don't worry, it wasn't a hot spot I went to. But I drove from Covington to Williamsburg, and I was on a FLEC committee meeting the entire time and it was like four hours long but there are so many people and, and i know abby was part of that and and a, a bunch of people in this room were a part of that but you know i don't think people really knew how much stuff you all really went through and i mean there were just guideline after guideline after guideline and 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 the beauty of something like that is you all made it look easy so to the public eye it, it looked easy but i know how much work it was and, um, so we appreciate everything you have done for us.